Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. Hope you're all doing well and it's turning out to be a very good day for Norwich City. Uh, earlier on with the news that Emi Buendia is very likely to stay at Norwich City, which is huge. And also Norwich City have made a new signing. They've got their man and I'm absolutely excited about this signing. I think we've potentially got a real gem on our hands here and full credit to Stuart Webber for picking out um, his man. Norris City have signed left-back Demetrius Janulis um, from Paug, I think it is, on loan until the end of the season. In this video, I'll be going through all the details about Norris City's new signing, um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section, Norris City fans. Are you excited about this one? I certainly am, but I'm also very interested if there's any Greek viewers um, watching this channel, please give your insight into Norwich's new man, Demetrius Janulis. I'd love to hear from uh, Greek fans and, and, and people who have watched him before because I can't, I can't lie and I think a lot of Norwich City fans can't lie. We haven't seen much of him, but um, from from you know the scouting reports and, and all the reports, this looks like a brilliant signing. So in this video, I'll, go, I'll be going through all that you need to know about him. Um, as well as how he's going to fit in at Norris City. Um, firstly, though, if you are new to Norris City um, Central, please do subscribe for consistent match previews, reviews, all the transfer speculation, and hopefully match day, ex hopefully match day experiences very soon as well. Um, any Greek fans who are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing um, and, and follow Dimitris Janoulis' journey at Norwich. Um, and as well as that, if you do want to follow my socials and, and have a look down below, um, at the Norris City Central shop, they will all be in the description. But let's get on the video. Uh, let's get on with the video. Norris City have agreed a deal to sign left back Demetrius Janulis on loan until the end of the season. However, if Norris City do get promoted, um, Norris City will buy him for around six to seven million pounds. That is the reported fee, and, and that looks like a brilliant bit of business because a lot of um, Greek fans have been saying that he's very highly rated and um, possibly more highly rated than. Um, Liverpool signing, I forget his name, but Liverpool made a left back signing, and and a lot of fans really rate this guy very um very highly. So six to seven million pounds for this man does look like a real bargain. In terms of clubs who have been interested, Newcastle were interested in him uh, last season, but clubs like Porto and Napoli have also shown strong interest. So it's been a really really good bit of business um from Norris City. Let's read about uh, a little bit more information. The Greek international 25 will join on a permanent basis for an undisclosed fee should Norwich City gain promotion to the Premier League. Uh, Janoulis arrives from three-time Greek champions Paug, for whom he made a total of 78 appearances across domestic league and cup and European competitions. Yep, he's, he's a, he's a first-team regular there. He, he played a lot of football there, which is exciting to see. He is part of the Paug side that completed the Greek league and cup double during the 18-19 season. I think I read this was the first time Paug won the Greek um, league in about 30 years and he was instrumental in it from left back playing a lot um, during that time um, he, he, yeah, he was very influential he's also had an 18 month loan spell at a fellow top Greek side which um, was really important for his development he registered 14 assists across 15 free appearances during that time um, and also has 11 Greek caps to his name so that kind of shows his pedigree he's been playing at the top level in Greece um, and as well as that, he's, he's a Greek international and he's also played um, in the Europa League and the Champions League as well. That shows his pedigree. We've got a really good signing on our hands here. Someone who, who was really good in Greece, but also has European experiences as well. In terms of the type of player he is, that's what a lot of Norwich City fans will want to know. He fits into our style of play perfectly because he's a... Uh, a young fullback who loves to bomb down the wing, a you know a modern day fullback, someone who's strong, aggressive, and he's got lots of pace. Who's going to run um, and put crosses in the box, uh, have, have shots on goal. Very similar to Max Aaron's in terms of his approach. So that's really good to see. Um, in terms of what um, Demetrius has to say about coming to Norwich, I'm really happy to have signed. It was a dream to play for an English team, and now my dream has come true. It's been a busy few days, but I'm here and I can't wait to get on the pitch with my new teammates. I will always give my best. I consider myself a fast, fast player, both in attack and defence. I like Norwich's style of football and I hope I adapt to the way the team plays and that I can help the team get promoted. Yeah, I, I don't think Demetrius Janoulis is going to stay at Norwich if we don't get promoted, but he's certainly someone who has strong ambitions to play for the Premier League. He's more than good enough to look at some of the clubs he's been, um, some of the clubs that have been interested in him. Um, it's, his, it's been his dream to play in the Premier League and hopefully we can facilitate that for him. Um, and I like what he says there, very quick player. That's someone who Norwich City won. And when you consider we've sold, fifth, uh, sold Jamal Lewis um, to Newcastle for 15 million, 
and we're getting Dimitri Janoulis for six or seven million. That is a superb bit of business. And Stuart Weber deserves deserves a lot, a lot of credit. I mean, Norwich City are in very good hands at a football club. And, uh, you know, there's lots of championship clubs that are really struggling um, financially. But with someone like Stuart Weber at the helm who can pick these brilliant bits of, you know, br brilliant businesses up and, and brilliant players, full credit. In terms of what Daniel Farker has to say about him, we're really happy to have Demetrius with us. We wanted to bring someone in who doesn't just help us over the next few weeks, but who can help us deliver in the mid and long term. That's really exciting. Could be a long term prospect. In Demetrius, we found the piece we're searching for. He's a good age with lots of room for improvement. He's also very experienced with many games for the Greek national squad too. He's played for a top club in Pau where where he needed to win each and every game. I like that point on where he needed to win each and every game. I think a lot of players come to clubs and sometimes they can struggle with the expectation of having to win lots of games of football. Demetrius comes in and he's a born winner. He's been part of a team that has won so many games. He knows what it takes in the last 10, 15 minutes to you know ground results out. He's used to winning and that's always a really good habit to be in um, as a player. But as I said, he's, he's 25, he's a Greek, he's a left back. He's had lots of experience um, playing at the highest level in Greece. Um, also has Europa uh, League experience and Champions League experiences. Um, in that season where he 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 won the league um, for Paug, I think they went undefeated and won something like 26 out of 30 games, which shows how good they were that season. But yeah, an attacking fullback as well, picked up three assists um, during that time. Got injured this season in November and they kind of let his contract run down. He wanted a new challenge. He wanted to play in the Premier League. And as I said, hopefully Norwich City can facilitate for that, that for him. In terms of how I rate this business, I think this is a 9 out of 10 or even a 10 out of 10 deal. And I think it's that good. Dimitri Janoulis comes with, as I said, so much experience. Um, and when we consider we sold Jamal Lewis for 15 million and, and the Murphys and the Pritchard for around those fees and we're getting someone of this calibre in, I think Stuart Webber deserves a lot of credit. So I'm really excited for this one. In terms of how he's going to fit in at Norwich, um, in terms of our full-backs at the moment we've got, we've got Max Ahrens, Javi Quintila. We've also got Bally Mumbu and Sam Byron, although they're out with injury. Um, we've got Bally Mumbu's out with COVID. Um, the majority of those players I mentioned there are right-backs. Um, I know Mumbu and Byron can play left-back, but the majority of those players are right-backs and Javi Quintila is a left-back. So Dimitri Janoulis comes in as a proper left-back. He can also play left midfield, but a proper left-sided player, which I think Norris City need. Um, it raises potential question marks about Javi Quintila. He comes in with a lot of experience in Spain, um, but had, he struggled a little bit in Norwich in terms of injuries, mainly injuries. Um, and I know if Norris City got promoted, we would have signed him potentially for a £3 million deal. I think that maybe puts it in jeopardy. I think in terms of a long-term prospect, Norris City see Demetrius Janoulis as their first choice left back, maybe over someone like Cavi Quintila. So it'd be very interesting to see whether we terminate his loan early. I don't think that I don't think that will happen. I think he'll stay to the end of the season. But in terms of who we're going to be seeing as a long-term prospect as a left back, if Norris City do get promoted to the Premier League, which... I must stress is the most important thing. I think Dimitri Janoulis is the guy. So in this video, I've rounded up um, all his details in terms of his pedigree and experience. And, in t and, and for me, this is a brilliant bit of business. Someone who could be really influential at Norwich. May reminds me a little bit of a Mitchell Dykes as well in terms of his playing style. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section over the signing of Demetrius Janoulis on a loan deal for six months. But if Norwich City do get promoted, we will sign him for around a six to seven million pound fee. And I'd love to hear from Greek fans as well what you've made of him. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Norwich City Central if you're new. Stay well, stay safe and I'll see you later.